There was a Warren City Council meeting today to talk about snow removal, at which we learned that seven of the city's 10 snow plows are at least 17 years old and three are 29 years old. With that in mind, council was told to expect a request to buy new trucks. Warren Safety Service Director Eddie Colbert told City Council this afternoon that come the first meeting of February, he'll ask for $950,000 of American Rescue Plan money to buy five new plow trucks. If we're going to have these guys out there, we got to give them, you know, adequate tools to be able to do the job. Patrick Larson was one of the drivers plowing Warren snow. We got to get workers and equipment. We have to. That's that is the way to get things done faster. They work 12 hour shifts from Sunday night through today, 11 drivers on one shift and nine on the other. For a snow like this, that is nowhere near enough. You can't do it. We start with our main roads. Warren's superintendent of operations, Frank Tempesta, said the main roads come first, then the neighborhoods because of emergency services. If we can get them close to the neighborhoods, then we can worry about them going through a few blocks of untreated roads. There were complaints, like Dennis Stout, who blows snow for his neighbors around Vernon and Comstock Avenues Northwest, some of which a plow covered back up. I mean, hell, they come down through the yesterday and plowed and knocked all the trash cans down and all that snow in everybody's driveway. And I know they don't have to push it that hard. Kim Floyd of Rogers Avenue Southeast was so upset with a business across the street that she called police. The moron sat there and took snow from the street and his parking lot and pulled it right into my driveway. What can we do? And Sean Allen said it's moments like these where everyone needs to help. Let's have a little more community here. Shovel your neighbor's sidewalk. Go and help the elderly. Don't come here and complain about it. Now, Warren's operations department has had five people quit since mid-November, and it is hard finding replacements. They need a commercial driver's license, and the city will train them. But with a CDL, a driver can leave for twice the money. It was mentioned that if the city is going to train them, drivers should be required to stay for a while.